adding eclectic design to your space can be a little bit challenging. Like, we want to mix it up a little bit and make your space look like you with some personality. So we've got Sharon Greg here to help us out. Thank you for that. Start by defining for us what eclectic is, because a lot of folks mm -hmm. think eclectic is just throwing everything at the wall and <laughs> making it all work together, but often it does not work, No, right? it's not magic. It's not magic. <laughs> but, I mean, to me, it's more of an approach to design as opposed mm -hmm. to more of a formal style. So I think absolutely it is about bringing your personality to your space, which we all want to do. It's about mixing all of your favorite design eras. So you want to mix different furniture styles from different yes. periods. You want to mix some old old and new. It's also about contrast. So mm -hmm. whether that's lots of pattern, mixing pattern, adding color. But I think, like you said, it's, it's not just about everything goes. There is some intention. You want it to look like there's some intention. You want it to feel harmonious. That's right. Okay, so if we want it to feel harmonious, <laughs> where do we start? How do we do this? All right, so I think with any, when you're designing any room, it's always a good idea to start with the big pieces. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we want to break up those matching sets. So I yeah. absolutely love the Morabo from Ikea. I've used this furniture in different colors many different times. <laughs> yeah. But what I didn't do is get the matching side chair that is in right. the same fabric. I didn't do that. This is your opportunity to bring in a different material. So yeah. I love leather. In my own house, my side chair is leather. Um, you might want to bring in rattan. Mm -hmm. In this case, I fell in love with this beautiful spindle chair. Nice. So it's painted wood. So it has a very different feel. It's a different material. So again, I've broken up the set. You could add something else into the space for sure. But then it's also about, you know, mixing up the patterns. I think pattern is a really key part of this look. And I yeah. think... More than just mixing in patterns, you want to think about the scale of patterns. Okay. So again, it's like design principles, scale. So I've got big pattern on the carpet, on yep. the rug. This is a great place, especially if you're a little nervous about going eclectic, but you want to do it. Put mm -hmm. your pattern on the floor because you, it's not in your face. So you don't yeah. see it. It just sort of sets the tone. But it's got a nice stripey effect. And then I've mixed it with a big print on the wall. That's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's floral. So we're mixing stripes. We're mixing floral. Right. And then you've got your big patterns. But then the small ones are always really easy when it comes to throwing cushions around. They're not matching. No, they're not. Right? They're not matching. I've got some floral. Animal print. Bring in your animal print, people. Bring in whatever patterns you like. You might like plaid. You might yeah. like needlepoint. I think it's really about... Um, mixing them in, but also I like to suggest keeping some solids just so you have some breathing room for all of those patterns. You need somewhere for your eyes to stop and hang out, right? Exactly. To rest a little bit. Absolutely. So uh, when I see all of these different patterns all together, for me, it doesn't read busy. It reads comfy. Yes, like have absolutely. a seat. And Let's you know get comfy. What? It's because of the color too, Trace. Is that what it is? It's, it's scale, it's color. So let's talk a little bit about color because a lot of people think eclectic and they think bold color. Yeah, absolutely. Does it have to be bold no, color? I mean, you have bold color. I do. Right I, <laughs> I love it. You match the floral yeah. arrangement. It's fantastic. But again, it doesn't have to be everything bold. Yeah. You know, I think it's about experimenting with color and being a little not afraid of color. Right. But people do tend to want a bit of a rule. And this isn't a style for rules but yeah, i will say give us the rules i'm going to give you a rule okay <laughs> if you keep it within three to four colors it's going to be more harmonious so i actually used four colors here trace i've okay. got green so i've got various shades of green mm -hmm. i've got a few different pinks i've got a neutral blonde wood tone so i've got that in a few places and remember that your wood is a color it is. okay remember that as a color yeah and then i've got a pop of red yeah so okay. it's, it's bringing in color, but it's not going crazy. But the easy thing to do would be to put ballet white on the wall, which I love, by the way. Ballet yes. white's fine. But instead, this was an opportunity to bring, for me to go outside of my comfort zone and right. do a pink wall. Yeah, right? and it looks great. Doesn't it look great? I think it's nice, yeah. It, it's, it kinda, it's a complimentary color. So it, it's teacup rose, and I just I haven't teacup had an opportunity rose. to use it. So this is it. Today was the day. Yes. Now, I noticed there's all these beautiful little touches, and they look vintage. They look antique. Like, talk to us about that element within an eclectic yeah. space. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to get up because I'm touching yeah. feelings. So when it comes to, um, we've got everything basically Ikea. The base foundation pieces of Ikea. But yeah. I wanted it to feel more authentic. So I stripped a, a beautiful vintage 
nightstand, nice. right, for my stylist home, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> is here. Thanks, Diane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that has a nice patina to it, yep. and we've mixed it with the sort of rounded, clean style of the coffee table, but the color keeps it going. Very nice. Okay, all of the pieces work seamlessly together. I love that we're moving to a place where we're having more personality in our spaces. You will remember the 90s, we were all doing Hotel Chic. It was a lot of grayish, it was a lot of espresso. So now we're having fun with color. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Sharon. And Sharon actually wants to, us all to add a bit of color into our lives. So you're all gonna take home a Benjamin Moore gift card for a gallon of paint that's valued Ooh. at $125. Enjoy that. And there's more. So all week I've been talking about this. We are, we have some exciting news to share, but I want LA in here. As soon as I saw this pillow, right? I thought of Leanne. Screaming my name. It's I love screaming it. Screaming Leanne Lair Pro. So you both are going to be joining me at the National Home Show because we are doing City Line Day. Yes, we this are. This Saturday, a whole day of City Line, which makes perfect sense at the Home Show because we've been doing decor before the specialty channels were. So it makes sense. Um, what are we going to do? What are you going to do? Well, what I'm talking we about show? DIY versus buy, and I'm actually yeah. going to be taking attendees behind the scenes of some projects that I've shared here on City Line Love because that. we take these beautiful projects and we cram them into only a few minutes. Yes. I've got the luxury of time. We're going to talk turkey. <laughs> We're going to talk paint. Yes. We're going to talk dollars, actual real dollars, Good. and how to actually get the look for less in your own home. Oh, I love that. And Cher? Awesome. I'm going to do a panel with Frankie. We're yes. going to answer your questions. So bring your decor questions, bring your yes. color questions, and we will be there to answer them. Yeah, bring everything, uh, everything you've ever wanted everything. to know and talk about. But bring you the kitchen sink. Exactly. Us. Bring, bring it, it all. all. <laughs> We're That's ready for all it. all happening Saturday, uh, March 9th, and I actually hope that you will all join us at the National Home Show for City Line Day. You can see me, Sharon, L.A., Julia, Grieve and Frankie, as well as a bunch of other incredible experts all day long. That's happening at the Entercare Center. That's at the X. So if you're watching this and you want to come, we've got a discount code with City Line to get $5 off your ticket. And for all of these viewers in the audience today, guess what you're getting? A pair of tickets for free. Of course.